Where are we today, you ask? We are in Portugal. After almost a full day of traveling, I could finally take off this mask. It has been a long day. I am dead tired. But why and how did I get to Portugal, you ask? Well, simple. I saw a YouTube video on it. A couple of vloggers went to Portugal. I was like, this place is pretty nice. Next thing I know, I research about it a little bit. Turns out it's not that expensive like other European countries. Book a flight and here I am during COVID. It was not easy going to this place. Let me tell you that. This place is far. We're in a whole different continent, but we're going to make it worth it. It's like 12 a.m. local time right now, which is actually a pretty good thing because I am dead tired. So I'm going to sleep like a baby tonight. But first, got to hop in the shower. Good morning, guys. It is about 9 a.m. right now. I woke up at like 7 a.m. Took another shower because why not? And it's a little bit of a cloudy day right now. All right, so here's the breakfast. We got some croissants. We got an apple, some orange juice, and this like chocolate cereal looking thing. We got to get some sunscreen, boys. All right, guys, we are in the city of Lisbon. We got the little waterfall behind me. We got that giant statue. Then we got some like government building or something. I don't even know what this says. If they ever make a GTA game outside of America, low key, this would be a good place for it. We got the Portugal national team store. We got the little bowl. We got Cristiano Ronaldo. For the rest of that day, I met up with a Portuguese friend. And then later that night, I went to a famous nightlife street called Bairro Alto. I didn't really record anything there because I didn't want to be that guy. I mean, it's like a nightlife like bars and clubs area it was a great time and i got one photo so i guess i'll put that up right now and now it's the next day and i'm actually taking a three hour bus ride down to a region called algarve which is like the more like beachy part of portugal so i basically went all the way south to a city called villa mora i heard it's got some good beaches and nightlife which is exactly what i was looking for look at this beautiful beach and there's absolutely nobody there's a really nice sunset right now basically i'm just going up to people and telling them it's my first time in uh, in portugal and people are, for the most part, really nice. There's a lot of beaches. I'm actually at a marina right now with a bunch of boats, some really nice ones, and there's some nice cars as well, like this freaking amazing looking Ferrari, actually. It looks just like in GTA. This could legit be a GTA car. I think it already is a GTA car, but it looks absolutely insane. It's a nice paint job and a nice livery. I give it a 10 out of 10. The next day, I am extremely sunburned, like on the side. It looks really, really bad. I was at the beach for a couple of hours today, and now, it's sunset. I'm here with uh, Marti and Rodrigo. And we are gonna play some keep ups. Keep ups, keep ups. It's like keep football tennis. And we got like two squares here. Play keep ups and uh, play inside That's the squares. So tomorrow. All right, guys, it's a new day. We're going to be heading east today to a place called Tavira. It's pretty close to Spain. Still a little bit sunburnt, as you guys can see. But first, we're going to head to the beach one last time. And here is the beach. Usually, the water looks a little bit more turquoise. It still looks really nice. Going to go for a little swim. All right, so I just ate this, like, really good, like, Portuguese donut-looking thing. I don't even know what they're called exactly. There's just people going around, and you can buy it for, like, a Euro 40 or something. If you ask me, solo traveling is actually pretty underrated. Like, yeah, obviously, you want 
want to go with friends and have fun with friends but when you solo travel you're willing to put yourself out there a bit more and then you talk to more locals and really see the culture like get a feel for the culture a little bit better but if you're super shy and not really willing to put yourself out there it's going to be a little bit boring for you also the portuguese are crazy about soccer or football if you're from europe every time i ask them their favorite team which is like qualo to a equipa favorita football they usually say one of the three big ones like benfica and then sporting and porto all right guys, so we are in Tavira. We're on this little bridge right here with the river in the middle of the city. And I'm actually going to get a COVID test right now because in two days is a Champions League match. I'm going to be going to Sporting Lisbon or just Sporting versus Ajax Amsterdam. All right, so I decided to get a Bruno Fernandes Portugal national team shirt. This looks super fresh. I love this. Number 11 and his last name on the back. Bruno Fernandes is a pretty cool player. The next morning. Good morning, guys. It's like 7 a.m. And I just heard like some crazy rain outside. Holy crap. This place is supposed to be sunny. Two days later. Today is actually game day. You guys can see I have the Portugal national team shirt on me. But today we got game one of the Champions League group stage. We got the champions of Portugal sporting, which is like Benfica, Lisbon City rival versus Ajax Amsterdam, which are the champions of the Netherlands. So the champions of Portugal versus the champions of the Netherlands. Today's my final full day in Portugal. And to summarize this trip, I met some of the most awesome and amazing people I've ever met. The Portuguese people are for the most part really warm hearted and really welcoming, which I I love flying out to a foreign country alone was definitely one of the crazier things I've ever done and it actually paid off a ton I guess doing what I do which is really different from what other people usually do my age which is go to university or go work somewhere I guess it makes it a bit difficult to find someone to do stuff that I'm doing right now but that's just how it is I'm not complaining at all whatsoever all right guys here we are at the sporting stadium once again the Portuguese champions versus the Dutch champions should be a great game what's crazy to me is the amount of police forces there's like hundreds of police around here am i going to a champions league game or like a riot about to go in boys oh my goodness that is unbelievable i've never been to a champions league game before and this is sick guys here we are the champions league we are inside the score prediction for today I think it will be one against one. One one. Okay. One one. It's gonna be a close game, you said. Yeah. Alright, so what'd you just say about GTA? I want GTA six. I wanted goals and this is a great start. Let's go. As you guys just saw, two nothing Ajax and it's only the ninth minute. What's going on, dude? I thought this would be a pretty close game. We wanted goals and we got goals. Three first half goals. Sporting make it one to two. Three one Ajax, four goals in the first half. I'm not complaining at all. score again it's four to one not looking good for sporting but 
It's more goals, so I'll take it. Ajax 5, Sporting 1. It's getting uh, a little bit crappy for Sporting. Uh, didn't expect this, gotta say. Expected like a 3-2 or like a 2-1 game, but the more goals the better, so. It's a show not only by Ajax, but also their fans. They have been absolutely unbelievable all game. Well, I think I could summarize this game. Uh, complete domination by Ajax. They were definitely the better team. I enjoyed it though, even if it was like 3-3 or something. I'm neutral this game, but I'm just happy there were a lot of goals. But definitely an amazing experience. Champions League, something else. And here's the final whistle. Ajax 5, Sporting 1. I enjoyed it a lot. It was a great game, a lot of goals. I loved it. Well guys, we're in the duty free in Lisbon. Yesterday was a really, really fun day. I met a group of Dutch people. They were really, really cool. We went out after the game and now we're in the airport and getting ready for our flight, but that's gonna end this vlog. Portugal has been a blast. This country is amazing, honestly. If you do wanna see more vlogs, drop a like, subscribe, turn on the notification bell as well, and I'll see you guys next time.